Today, we're going to walk you through how to install a sliding gate. The first part of the process is to make sure you have a concrete footing to install your track to. Using the hammer drill, start drilling out the holes marked on the gate track before you hammer in your knockdown pins. You'll need to repeat the process for the whole gate track. Now, you'll need to check your measurements for the length of your gate to ensure your guide post is installed in the correct spot. Once you've done that, you're going to need to measure from the bottom of your gate track plus the width of your guide block. This will give you where to install the guide post. Mark your post to go behind the line. In this video, we are using a flange post. So we're going to go ahead and drill out our holes and install diner bolts into the slab. Once done, go ahead and secure the diner bolts by tightening the nuts. The next step is to install the gate wheels. On the bottom rail of your gate, you'll see the cutouts where the wheels fit. Get your wheels, put them inside, and then you can fix it off with tech screws. As always, it's best to have someone else on site to help carry with any heavy objects. Once the wheels are done, we need to lift the gate into place onto the gate track. On the back of your gate, you'll see some angle attached which slots into your nylon guide block. Once it's in place, you'll need to position it against the guide post and then screw on a bit of flat sheet to ensure the guide block can't fall out of position or slide off the gate angle. You'll see now, this allows us to slide the gate back and forth without any issues. Now it's time to move on to install the tunnel post. You can go ahead and close your gate to its closed position. This will give you the position where you need to install your post. Once marked, go ahead and drill out the holes and install your diner bolts. One of the final parts of the install is installing the gate stop. Slide your gate to the full open position to get your marking. From there, you're going to drill out your holes and install the gate stop again with diner bolts. Once completed, you have completely installed your sliding gate. The only thing left to do is automate it if you choose to. To do that, you're going to need power to the site or unless you install a solar solution, which we offer in store.